estén secos no creo. Le voy a desmanejar así, unos 10 segundos y luego lentamente se trae. Hello. Hello! Welcome to Elki Valley. We are in Bicuña or Bicuña? Bicuña. Bicuña. Yeah, it's so beautiful here. It is beautiful. As you can see, we're on the top of a hotel at the moment, looking over the town. It's a very small town. Very so, pretty, dog. Very pretty. Like, um, surrounding is very pretty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we, we drove here from Pichilemu. So, overall, it was about a nine hours mm -hmm. drive. We stopped the night in a service station in Copex, so, so it took us a long time to get here. Yeah, we didn't record anything because it's like nothing It was just us driving on a like motorway. If you're interested, yeah, seeing us driving, singing along and <laughs> stopping on motorway to have some hot dogs. That's about it. That's yeah. about it. So we arrived last night and unfortunately it was so cloudy over top. There's still clouds mm -hmm. and it's supposed to be known here for its clear skies and amazing uh, stargazing abilities here so they got world-class observatories all around and like you see we are on a uh, rooftop of a hotel so we went uh, we didn't know where to stay last night so we went to a campsite but they wanted what how much was it they wanted 10, each this is like almost 10 pounds per person yeah almost 20 quid overall and for we a campsite. thought that's a little bit expensive so we went on eye over london and we found this hotel where you can stay on a car park for 5,000 per person and use the hotel facilities like the bathroom, showers and Wi-Fi to, wi to sit in inside. It's a little bit a few minutes walk. And a secure parking as well. Oh, and so secure parking, so we slept very well, yeah. So yeah, that was it. So it was, uh, it was raining last night. But, um, yeah, and we think it was snowing because when we arrived, I don't remember seeing snow. There wasn't snow on these mountains. Yeah, so think but it's gone it now. We're going to head further into the Elki Valley, Pisco Elki, mm -hmm. and a few other villages. So we, at the moment we are a little bit stuck. We gave them laundry last night, but mm. because of the rain, electricity went, so they couldn't finish. So, so like, they washed them, but they can't dry them. Yeah, so, and we can't get them wet. And we said wet. we can't dry and drive in our camp van with a bag full of wet clothes. No, that would just go so moldy. So we need it, we need it dry. Yes, yeah, so we're stuck. So we're stuck here. For a few hours, just waiting for our laundry to be done. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll try some Pisco for the Elkie Valley. So yeah, it's known for its uh, stargazing, its UFO sightings, Pisco. just being a beautiful place and Pisco. And wine. And wine as well, this mm. whole valley. Anyway, so we're gonna just wait here we'll and then down. we will uh, jump in our van and go. Yeah. So we've left uh, Bicunia. Finally with laundry, it's uh, almost got 10 to 2, so we, we sat there for a long time. So we're heading down. In see the great views, see the vineyards and we are heading towards Pisco Elki. Yes and we plan is to stop in Pisco Elki and go Pisco find Elke. some Pisco vineyards really and try some Pisco. Uh, we're not really sure where we're going to stay at night, we don't really have a much of a plan. Not uh, really much of a plan, so we're going to go there, wing it, see what there is. Yeah. And so find if, somewhere to camp. If we see a vineyard, we're going to stop. Exactly. Yeah. So look at this, it's so nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's so nice to like drive this way and see it all like, wow. driving past and we drove past a little winery yeah look how pretty de Vardel Valle. so uh, we they do low tours usually weirdly enough they do free tours around and you get a free wine to sip not to yeah sip. Not, yeah to, drop, no. to try yeah to try but now uh, because of covid reasons and stuff they don't they don't wash the glasses they just sell glass yeah so you, you buy a glass, glass. yeah the wine. quite interested how the wine's gonna taste like but yeah the wine seem very different from what we're yeah. used to seeing yeah like this looks like a young tall tree yeah, I don't know. okay we do all our whites with the same pinning muscadet 
Ah. Mira, and this room was for the for the animals. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> yeah, sí. This was the how you say como like bueno, no sé. Barn sort of thing. Sí, barn como yeah. claro. And <laughs> now, bueno, my father he he did here beneath a sailor. Oh yeah. So he beneath uh, we we leave the bottles. Just have it like that. Yes. That's amazing. Ah. Cheers. <laughs> Super young. Wines, yeah, this is the youngest. I, I yeah, oh, this yeah, one. this one has no aging in the barrel. Yeah. <laughs> it smells good. First, it smells good. Of all, you have to see the when well, okay, this is super dirty, but you see the color mm -hmm. um, against the spot of the light. You understand? Mm -hmm. First, yeah, then okay, you you took it all right uh, from the stem, yeah, mm -hmm. then you can like feel the aroma without turning. See, okay, that's the official. <laughs> mm. But this one is good. for everything. Mm -hmm. it's, como, it's really a like key one and a favorite for. Like and this is Moscatel Rosada, pink Moscatel, the green. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. And the name is Rosa Pastilla. Well, oh, okay. one. Yeah. Try it. Mm. Well, I like this red. Ooh, very fruity. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice. Yeah? As well, yeah. With a dessert. See, yeah? Yeah? With chocolate. Ooh. Better chocolate, but the perfect mm. match. Here you go, poop. <laughs> Ready? So, look at Kasha and all her shopping. <laughs> Honestly, best wines I ever had. Kasha's favourite wines? Ooh. All of them. Like, I love them all. The red one, I was like, mmm. Mm. <laughs> Let's hope we like the Sauvignon Blanc then. So now we're going to head to Pisco Elki, I think. We're going to drive a bit further. Yeah. It's going to get dark soon, so we'll have to find a campsite. But we're going to stay in this area tomorrow as well, so yeah, plenty to do. Yeah. She said, as we knew, one of the best things to do was see the stars. But she said there's two weeks, two weeks in the entire year where the clouds come. <laughs> and guess what? Oh, we're here during those two weeks. <laughs> That's just our luck. Have some nuts. Hopefully there's have some nuts. Hopefully there's some uh, gaps in the cloud where we can see the stars tonight, so we'll see. Okay, we came to our campsite first, uh, after buying the wine. Um, it's beautiful. But again, the same, we're having the same problem what before, aren't we? We had the same problem as our last town, as in reception, no one, no one about anywhere. So we've just driven in. Uh, that's the view of the mountains over the top. Hopefully the clouds go, we get some good view of the stars. So we've got a little uh, campsite here. And we've got a little camping table, barbecue if we want it. Um, more campsites down there. More campsites over here. But we're the only ones. We are the only ones. Let's have a look at the communal space. Like a million sinks. Charging points, a million. A uh, couple of llamas. These are the toilets. Let's check the showers out. Hello, llama. Huh? It doesn't have any legs, that's why it can't stand up. You got no legs? You good llama. So we are here, a reception. Grapes, oranges, cute doggies. One ex super excited doggy, one chilled out doggy. <laughs> I think our dog would be more like this one. She's getting really pissed off with the hyper doggy. I don't want to get beaten in a battle. <laughs> really not up for playing. No, no, no. Yeah, that's right, you come to my defense, doggy. Hey. Oh, look at this cute dog. Oh. So, we're going to show you what we bought in the winery. Okay, so this is a wine we can take home with us and open it on a special occasion. Look at how cool this looks. It's um, 
Syrah? Syrah? Yeah, Syrah. Not sure how to pronounce it. You don't really drink much of this in the uh, We can keep it for 15 years. Yeah, she said we can keep it 15 years. It's quite cool, yeah? Quite cool. Grand Reserva, quite cool bottle. We Literally, we bought this wine for the bottle. We haven't tried this one, but then... Oh wait, there are glasses. There are glasses. Maybe I'll wash them actually. Yeah, oh yeah. And then we bar. Chiching. This one we tried. Oh, I wonder if they've got cold cold in there. Oh, oh crap. Yeah. We might figure something out. So this was the one we tried and we both liked. And she recommended this one. So this is Sauvignon Blanc, wasn't it? She said it's like it's very much like oh, a Sauvignon like a Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Um, yeah. And look so we're going to try that. We're just going to hope we can open them. Yeah, let's hope so. Tonight we've got two bottles. Someone should come and charge us and we should So we're just something. waiting. But I think we might just put stuff some food. Stuff for food. I'm gonna go put some stuff on charge now. Yeah. So yeah, really good. And then we've got all tomorrow around this area. Yeah, we just We might stay we... here again. I think uh, personally I think we should stay here two nights. Uh, because we haven't made it to Pisco uh, what, uh, what, wineries, no, yeah, vineyards, whatever they're vineyards, called. Pisco vineyards. So we're there gonna go to one of them. Right, yeah, so let's probably start some food, charge yeah. some stuff, open the get ourselves back. ready, yeah. open the back. So we've got sausage and mash for dinner. Wine glasses at the ready. And we still got tea. What about my tea? They're quite cold. The only problem with cooking outside and eating outside is it gets cold so quickly. Yeah. So let's tuck in, and the clouds are opening up a little bit, so fingers crossed. And we still haven't But they're not coming from that way. We still haven't paid. No. So anyway, flash on us. We've been sitting here and drinking, and uh, we thought we won't see any stars, but oh my god, put the light away. I'm not sure if... I'll have to GoPro pick this up. Oh my god. But you can see a Milky Way. So apparently people see uh, UFOs uh, here. Yeah. Wow, could have a blood. Oh wait, there's flying something there. Can UFO. you see? Yeah, I saw something. Can you see it? Oh my god, it's like really fainty. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. It's gone. Oh no, you can no, still see there. it. Oh my god, we see a UFO. Good morning on another day in paradise. It's absolutely freezing here. Last night was so cold. We saw some amazing stars. Kasha hiding behind her coffee. I'm Keep making him. him bacon sandwich. He's abusing me to cook for him. Oh no. I made all the drinks. I made nothing. Got you all your food this morning. So cold and the days are nice, really nice. So it's, yeah. Bit of a shock last night how cold it was. But we did see some amazing stars, catch a saw a UFO. So <laughs> I live with one. Or maybe I live with an alien. You're an well. alien. And then you look like an alien with that hood up. <laughs> Is that what they do? <laughs> Kasha's crazy in the mornings. So let's have breakfast even though Kasha's had hers and go. We managed to have a shower. Hot shower. Hot shower. Ish. Got ready. And we are on the way to Cochiguas. And in Cochiguas, it's a place for what is it for? It's known for like uh, it's UFO stuff. So it's so. about a 40 minute drive still in the, in the Elki Valley. So 40 minute drive in the Elki Valley. Quite a bit on unpaved road there, so. Is it? Mm -hmm. So we look at. We might see some alien stuff. We're gonna see so ma so many aliens. I mean, I'm sitting next to them. You're, you said you're the alien. Hmm. So we were driving. Uh, we couldn't turn around and go the right direction because the road was so narrow, and we ended up next to um, Fundo Los Nijos. I think you pronounce that. It's a Pisco um, place, vineyard. Distillery. Distillery, maybe. yeah, maybe. So we actually decided we're gonna go we'll here now. And have a look. We're supposed to go there this evening, but you know what? While we're here, I mean, Dan is driving, but I can drink. <laughs> <laughs> so we get easily distracted by things, me and Kasha. <laughs> oh, something shiny. Let's go there. Something shiny. <laughs> 
In, uh, we noticed in Chile they're very high on the uh, COVID rules, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we are here, we wait for our tour, and we've got some cool machines here. And you can really smell wine. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so it's quite interesting, yeah? You really smell it, yeah. Durante cinco días, mm -hmm. una decantación por gravedad. How old are these? Owner. So we're about to have a tasting. Yeah, so, so the longer it's in the barrel. Yeah, it changes. Hola, hola. Pasas. Yeah? El embajador de mm -hmm. Embasor de Estados Unidos en Chile, you say, me decía que es. No, 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 hagan el movimiento. ¿eh? Y fíjense que en las paredes, acá, el borde, levantan así. Ah, yeah. Aparecen las glicerinas, las Ajá. lágrimas, como en el vino, piernas. Para que indiquen sabor, aroma. Estén secos acá. Les voy a desmanejar así. Unos 10 segundos y luego lentamente se traga. Es potente. Es muy potente. Por eso hay que tomarlo con mucho cuidado. Por eso hay que mezclar. Pero es de 40, 40 degrees. 40. Así. Hagan lo mismo. Pruébenlo de la misma forma y el aroma es distinto. Es bastante más sutil en ese sentido. Es más seco, es más dry, pero no es tan, no es tan frutal. Se toma como un digestip. Lo que queda lo voy a echar ahí. Hacemos el moscatel, el moscatel wine. Este es como moscatel. sweet wine, tiene eh, 12 degrees, es suave. Uh -huh. Se toma como un aperitif, frío. Sí, este es un vino, muy frío. Oh. Es un aperitivo frío para quesos, quesos de cabra o frutos secos. Okay. Sí. Interesting flavor. It's a Moscato. It's like a Chile, a Porto. Okay. Verdicts. So, uh, I think, uh, like he said, you don't drink it straight. You drink it with a... Uh, in a cocktail. In a cocktail. This goes sour. Really, this place is quite cool. It's a six-year generation for 120 years or something like that. Yeah, well, established 1868. Oh, there you go. So we great. love Fisco Sours, to be honest. So, yeah, so we, it's just straight. But like it would be the same if we went to a vodka place and we're yeah. drinking it straight. Yeah, yeah. It would yeah. be the same. So I went to a brandy place, drink it straight. The second one was a little bit easier, but I think I would prefer the first one in my cocktail. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, all in all, yeah, it's a pretty cool tour. Yeah, really you cool. get to see around everywhere. Yeah, um, and try. And he taught us so much in depth how you make the pisco, how much of different alcohol. It was interesting. The tour was in Spanish, he started speaking Spanish, then he gradually started speaking English, <laughs> yeah. the more the tour went on. Yeah. And then it went back to Spanish again. Yeah. Maybe we have to check in to make sure we understand. But yeah. yeah, I think we understood quite well. Yeah, it's a little, little yeah. cool stop. Okay, so. So we just got this for less than seven pounds, actually. Six pounds, fifty maybe. Yeah. Cross, cross, cross. Six pounds fifty. That's so cheap, yeah. So cheap. It'd be a crime not to buy it. <laughs> like, come on, it's a crime not to, do, isn't it? Yeah. So we've come back to England with so much booze. So much booze. <laughs> yeah. Right. I've got to say goodbye to an important buddy of mine. Hey. Hey. Bye, bye, doggy. You're such a good doggy. Why are you lying here in the dirt? Hey. Why are you lying here, baby? Bye bye. So we got distracted once again. <laughs> we saw this little burger van thing. And we're having two hot dogs. As always, hot dogs in Chile. Yeah, two hot dogs, because we never have hot dogs in Chile. And small dogs. Yeah. Hey! Hello! Quick stop for a Chilean hot dog. It's with avocado and tomatoes. 
It's really nice. Tomato sauce, mayo, avocado. Yeah, so quick stop before we go. So we are driving now through a place called... God, I don't remember what it's called. Or we said earlier and it's supposed to it's a place known for uh, people seeing apparently UFOs and stuff and we found there'd be much like a little bit like signs of like UFOs or whatever and it's just like you know for tourism but there's nothing <laughs> like nothing look, at all, just no. like one house nothing one house nothing there were like camping spot and some cabanas there a couple of restaurants which are all closed yeah um, it was observatorium nothing. but it looks shut as well so there's really nothing in this town yeah oh wait there's something there <laughs> Cochiguas? Cochiguas? Yeah. should we check the observatorium we'll have a look at the observatorium yeah so we're heading back head back and we'll show you and it is in apparently in Vicuña where we stayed the first night Apparently, loads of people saw something zigzag through the sky and crash into the mountains. Apparently, a lot of people saw that in 2013. And then somewhere further into the valley, there was another sighting of why quite a lot of people are something weird in the sky. And it's supposed to be just like a mystical valley. This, some people say it's like a portal to another dimension deeper into the valley. So yeah, it's very strange. Oh, you got, you got this. Got the this is literally the only reference to Alien life. And this is what is a spa there. <laughs> and there's a spa next to it. Yeah. Alien spa. Yeah. And then you come down here. Have a look. And this yeah. is this is the town. This I was area. thinking to reserve, I don't know. You can't this is the, so yeah. But it's Cerrado everywhere. Oh and it's shut. Cochinga. So yeah, this is it for this town. We are yeah a little bit disappointing. We thought it's gonna be like lots of crazy people looking for aliens. Uh, but like we said yesterday, uh, this area is not supposed to have clouds. They only have clouds twice. Um, no, for two, two weeks. weeks in a year, we hear there are clouds. So but so now we're gonna head back to Pisco Elki. We'll show you a little bit of the town. Yes. So we're here, little Pisco Elki. What? Oh, this is the little plaza. I smell wine. You smell wine? There's another distillery there, Mistral. It's quite known. It's quite a known one. I think it's like one of the most popular. I know? think so. It's a cute little church. Yeah. But it's one of actually the top things to do here. What? To see the church. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Let's see, there's lots of observa observation things, like starry things to do when it isn't cloudy. So we don't really do any of them because it's so cloudy. Cool rock shop. So as we said, it's a very, very small town. I mean, you got the centre, which we just went through. The little craft market just uh, we went in. We went in a little shop, and other than that, it's a few little restaurants. But I still have a little. Oh, we've got bought bracelets. Yeah, got that red one. Ooh, purple chili colours. And I've got this cute one. Very cute. So now we're going to go back to the same campsite. We've got some barbecue stuff. And we're going to relax there. We didn't sleep that well last night, so we we're very no. tired. So we're going to go back. My problem is I can't sleep after alcohol. Yeah. And then, um, Tomorrow we'll see, we might have something planned. Okay, so it's towards the end of the day. Uh, we've got the barbecue going. Just a small burger and massive yeah. sausage barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> we have the lovely views and it's actually a bit warmer from the barbecue, yeah? Yeah. Again, super cloudy, more cloudy than yesterday. Yeah. So even less chance we're going to see the stars, which is a pain. It's a shame, but we're taking it easy today, just relaxing, yeah. Yeah. So we'll um, have these. Crack on Pisco and have a good night. Yeah. Bye. See you tomorrow. Hello, so it's the next day. Uh, we are in Vicuña, just on some shopping. So we're heading just outside of town now to go to Cerro Tololo, Tololo Observatory. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not sure um, what's there. If we can do a tour or not, I don't know if 
because it's the wrong time of the year with the clouds and everything, whether we can just have a look around the site, we'll find out, but we're gonna head there now. It's about an hour away, so uh, we'll see you there. So unexpectedly, we're coming to a barrier that says private property, and it looks like it's being controlled by dogs. <laughs> one, two, three. No one here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Doggies, how do we get through? There's some walkie talkies there. Some walkie talkies, yeah. but a lot of doggy doggies. So there is a controller. And um, we just asked him, and he's because of a pandemic, because of COVID, is shut. Brilliant. So that was fun. God. So what are we doing now? My we dog had... was somebody with it. Mm, no, but I saw it somewhere. I swear I saw it going there. Yes, I thought. You can't see anything. Oh yeah, he's laying there. Oh, he's just Jesus laid down Christ, underneath dog. our car. That is a risky move, doggy. Yeah. So, we have gonna head to La, Ser La Serena? La Serena. La Serena now. We're a little bit disappointed. But you know, pa pandemic, Covid actually does break things. Chile seems it's just opening up. Um, Chile seems very yeah. much more strict than it. Yes, yeah, it's like even the Easter Islands are still shut till 1st of August, so... Oh uh, wow. We're so gonna just look at the views. i show you through the clean window. Uh, uh, open window. Anyway, it's a beautiful place, driving. and up there you see the mountains. That's where apparently they saw a UFO zigzagging into the mountains. Lots of people from Biorica saw a UFO, UFO crash up there somewhere. Ooh. So there you go. Let's hike up and find it. Hike up. So uh, I think that's going to be the end now. We were going to end with the observatory. It's closed. Yeah. So unfortunately, that is the end of this vlog. So we're going to head to La Serena. And we're hoping to do a boat tour. If it's open. <laughs> if it's, if it's open. I think it's, it, it is open. <laughs> but everything's really like... Uh, just Chile in general has not been lucky for us. No. We've had but, such bad luck. And but we're still having a good year. time. We're having a good time. Yeah, we are having a good time. We feel quite chilled, relaxed. Exactly, yeah. we're so chilled, so relaxed. Yeah. Long and living in a camper van, it's just... Footage-wise, there's probably... Not as good, yeah. Not that much that we're doing that's interesting. Because you miss so, the cities, yeah. But we're hoping that's going to change further up north. Uh, so we'll see. Um, so, yeah, we will see you in La Serena. See you 